Good morning everyone, it's Reverend Gail. I wonder if you've got a favourite pop group or singer? Have you got some favourite songs too? I wonder, do you and your friends enjoy the same music? Well, in the 1960s, there was a very famous pop group from Britain called the Beatles. I wonder if you've heard of them. And they had many hits. One of them was called With a Little Help from My Friends. Our friendship is a really precious gift. Everyone wants to have friends. And if we're fortunate, we'll have a group of close friends, people whom we can share our lives. But sometimes things go wrong, don't they? And we can disagree with our friends and sometimes that even leads us to stop talking to each other. I wonder if that's ever happened to you. If it has, can you remember how you felt? Well, some people not only have a smaller group of close friends, but they also have one special friend, or one best friend. I wonder if you've got a best friend, someone who can trust a hundred percent, someone who you can tell everything to, who sticks by you even when you're grumpy and short-tempered, somebody who you can laugh with and even cry with. Well, in the Bible, there are many stories about friendship. And one of those stories we can find in the Old Testament part of our Bible, in the book of 1 Samuel. And it's the story of David and Jonathan. Well, you might know bits of the story. You see, because David was a young boy and he was told that one day he would be king of Israel. And as he grew up, he became famous for defeating a giant. Do you know what that giant was called? Yes, that's right, it was Goliath. And he was also a skilled soldier. And he wrote many songs. Did you know that? And we can find those in the Bible. And they're recorded in the book of Psalms. And of course, those songs are thousands of years old compared to our modern songs. Well, when David was a boy, a man called Saul was the king of Israel. And Saul had a son who was called Jonathan. And David and Jonathan became great friends. I wonder if you can think of any reason why a friendship between David and Jonathan could have been quite difficult. Well, one reason was that Saul Jonathan's dad was the king and David was going to be the future king. Well, David was also a great soldier and King Saul became very jealous of him. And of course another reason is that normally if somebody's king then their son becomes king after him. And so Jonathan would have normally followed in his father's footsteps and become the future king, not David. But actually, Jonathan had a good reason to be jealous of David too, but he wasn't. Well, Saul tried to kill David several times, but Jonathan warned his friend David and saved his life. And eventually, David ended up hiding in a cave so that King Saul wouldn't find him. And Jonathan never told his father where David was because of their friendship being so special. David could trust Jonathan completely. Jonathan's friendship made David feel much stronger and helped David to trust in God more. It would have been very easy for Jonathan to be jealous of David, but instead he always protected him, sometimes even saving David's life. I wonder how we treat our friends. Do we get jealous when they're successful or if they're better at something than us? Or do we encourage them? Do we 
stand up for them? Do they feel happy when something good happens in their lives? In David's case, he really did get by with a little help from his friends. So have a think about how you treat your friends, and then I'm going to say a prayer. If you'd like to make this prayer your prayer too, then join in the Amen at the end. Dear God, thank you for our friends whom we can trust. Thank you for friends who stick with us when we need them. Thank you for friends like Jonathan in the story. Please keep us from being selfish. Please help us to be good friends to others. Please help us to be a friend to anyone in need. Thank you for always being there for us. Amen. And so we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And so may the Lord bless you and keep you now and always. Amen. <laughs>